What's up, brother? So this is your brother G World 7 underscore D. The other day when I made a video, it might not have, you know, it might not have uh, come out clear enough, real clear. So I'm gonna make this video now. Damn, I hate all these damn cars. They seem to pass by when you start turning your video on. But I want to say, um, brothers and sisters, um, we gotta start loving ourselves, man. And I mean it. Can't hate ourselves. We gotta start loving ourselves. You know, taking pride in who we are. Taking pride in everything about ourselves. Taking pride and honor of who we are. Yeah. Now, I want to emphasize we in the Aboriginal black community here in America need to know, need to know several things. We cannot date or mate outside of our group. All right? We shouldn't do that. Let me just put that. We shouldn't do that because that's destructive, man. That is extremely destructive. And that can basically that'll dilute us and wipe us out like that. I know some of these niggas think, well, if you like Umar when he said, well, a black man marry a white woman's a black child. The black genes are stronger, but it's diluted, man. When he said when he says stuff like that, it's it's dangerous. And it goes on both ends, both male and female. And, and then what bothers me is that some males are being denied this, and then unfortunately a lot of women are being denied this too. Is that they, they want to blame all the faults in the black community on black men. That's, that's dangerous and reckless, man. And it's basically insulting. All right, You can't sit there and say that you quote for the black community, that you pro-black, but then all you do is date outside your race, or you date outside your race, period. Like I said before, that is genocidal and that's destructive. That's what these white racist bastards want you to do. If you study the history, like in Australia, the Pacific Islands, definitely in the Caribbean, Latin America, their main goal was to have you to procreate with white people as a way to water you down, and then have that generation mix with white people, water them down more, and then they mix with white people, and then they totally wipe your, your bloodstream out. I'll tell you, this is how they think, man. MTV was really promoting that stuff hard in the 90s, countering the political rap. In fact, MTV and Yo! MTV Raps, which is B, it was a BS show when you think about it, they were banning certain rap artists because Yo! MTV, the people who did the editing of MTV and approval of videos, said that certain artists weren't allowed in their network because it divided their audience. I mean, why are you going to show rap music anyway? You're not going to show the whole damn thing. You would show the stuff talking about bang, 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 kill, kill, kill. But you wouldn't show the stuff that's talking about uplifting our community. You know, <clears throat> there's a few groups they did show. They showed Public Enemy because they had to. They just so damn popular. You know, but it, it just so when Ice Cube because he was so damn popular. Even though they didn't show that video he did, Be True to the Game. They never showed that. You only seen that video in the video jukebox. Right? At the time, it morphed into the box. Um, because it changed into the box in 92. And that's when that video came out. So most people think he only made ste uh, Steady Mobbing as a video for the death certificate album. No, he made a video for Be True to the Game. You know, but you really didn't see that video. And that video, if you look at it, man, it called a lot of those Negroes out and it's still doing, the same Negroes are still doing that today. So we gotta really understand that, man. You know, I, I, I listen to many black folks on YouTube <clears throat> and there's some hypocritical Negroes on there, man. You sit there, I'm, I'm, I, I'm critical of a lot of these foreign blacks, all right? But I never say all, oh, but I'm critical a lot of them, but we also have some in-house coons that we're gonna have to deal with too, who will say things, or oh, they wouldn't date a foreign black, but they'll date a white person. I mean, come on, man, come on, come on, get real. Let's get serious. No, I, I don't, and then some of them Negroes say the same thing. That's, that's, like I said before, you diluting yourself out, man, when you think like that. And integration has been a big problem because we're integrating into society. First of all, white culture comes from black people anyway. So the so-called white larger culture comes from us. And many of these people who are labeled as white today weren't white at the beginning of the 20th century. A lot of them were still viewed as uh, black because they had that black Morse blood in them. You have to remember Europe was originally black. It was not white. That's why you hear these crackers sit there trying to say the ancient Egypt pyramids built by white folks. That's a damn lie. That's a lie. Because they, they're doing that because they want to claim Greece. They, if they want to say Greece was a white civilization, white civilization, then they have to say the Egyptians were white. Because 
the Greeks come from the Egyptians. Uh, the ancient Greeks come from the ancient Egyptians. That's where the Greeks were. They were nothing but freaking Egyptians. So that's where the Greeks come from. All right. And then, so to, to claim their whiteness, you have to take Egypt and make Egypt white. Now, not, they, they're straight up delusional. Because the first whites that entered Egypt, they entered as slaves. Period. They were slaves. And the first whites that entered America, they were freaking slaves. Just like the so-called Asians, they were slaves. <laughs> you have to understand, black people had empires globally. They weren't, like I always say this, landlocked in a certain, situ certain region of the country. Or the, excuse me, the area. They were global. And black civilization was global. So to, to just say black people come from West Africa and America is a lie. No, we cover multiple continents. And like I said in the past, we warred with one another. But I want to let you know, brothers and sisters, that you're going to have to be more critical. You need to vet some of these Negroes out. But some of these Negroes are straight up coons, man. They'll do and say anything that white folks want to hear. They'll buck dance for anything for white folks or to get near the white folks. But like get back to what I just said about integration. It has been very detrimental and destructive. When you tell Negroes that integration has been good for us, then some of them, they'll be talking a black game. Of, what? Why are you against, against integration? What are you talking about? No, we just need to love ourselves. No, 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 no. It goes beyond that. See, them Negroes don't want to give up eating their little, or going to their little Starbucks. All right, they enjoy doing that. Starbucks ain't nasty ass stuff, but these Negroes enjoyed it. They enjoyed the, it. Was it uh, Frappuccino? Whatever the hell you call that mess. <laughs> Frappuccino. I want my Frappuccino. So many Negroes are so brainwashed and they're so wanting of white acceptance that they will not do nothing, sacrifice anything. And let me tell you something, man. That stuff is not good for you anymore. To put in your pot. Half of that mess that fast food places but and a lot of them stole their recipes from black people anyway but we have to understand that man like what like I said with Latinos man they're funny as hell because their culture even if they claim Spanish that's nothing but Moorish black Spaniards that's black Spanish culture black European culture from southern Europe and then they want to claim Taino Taino the Tainos the real Tainos were Negroes. You know, the Caribs were Negroes. All right? A lot of them were freaking Moors, man. Mm -hmm. Or, or Moorish influence, at least. So, we're going to have to really um, take back our true history, and, or at least understand it, man. And we got to really vet some of these little coons out because, you, like I said, you can't be so-called for the melanated Aboriginal black community and you're sleeping with a white woman or a man. Or you say you date them. No, you a damn man. I'm, I can deal with I want. I'm at a certain age. No, you nothing but a coon. You nothing but a coon. And you need to watch out for them people. They cannot speak on your issues, man. Lewis Henry Gates. He's in his second wife, I think, now. His first wife was a straight-up white woman. Now he's married to some white Latina woman who teaches Afro-Latino studies, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever, man. Yeah, that clown, man. <laughs> and she's not even, man, that chick not black. There's light-skinned black Latinos who are not mixed, and some might be mixed, but that, no, no, that, that chick is not black, man. He's a clown. But he is a perfect example who should not be speaking of anything of our history, man. Him, Olifa Shante, none of them clowns, man. I have no respect for any of them, man, because they've been misteaching black folks. Aboriginal. North Americans. They have been misteaching Aboriginal melanin North Americans. All right? Misteaching. Do not listen to them. I keep telling you that over and over again. I give you research information. Well, you get it from some white man. Or whatever. Many stuff I have is from black people, but your, many of your Negro historians, when they get it from some white man, you don't say nothing about that. You just go along with that. But you have to do your, like I said, you have to do your own research and study. You can't just take in what a lot of these clowns give you because they, their main goal would always say they're trying to get tenure. Tenure at these universities. So, but uh, I want you, brothers and sisters, to keep studying and learning because the information is out there, man. It is out there for you to get and grab and grasp.
It's for you to have. It's for your taking. You know, that's up to you if you want it. You know, it's up to you if you want it. If you don't want it, hey, that's up to you. It's up to you if you want it. You know? So I just um just want to say that real quick. You know, you know I'm out here in the elements. I said the last video was messed up, but uh, yeah, love yourself, man. When you start going outside your group, you're you're diluting yourself. You really are. You're diluting yourself. And some brothers and sisters don't understand that. I can marry who I want. Okay, fine. I mean, think about that, but then all you're doing is helping to the destruction of our people. And if you want, if you had that, we are the world mindset. Then don't speak ahead of our issues. Shut up. If you want to lay down with a white man or white woman, don't speak ahead of our issues, please. You're not entitled. You lost the privilege to speak. Don't say anything. Your ass can be called out. Because there's too many coons running around, man. We got to base event them out, man. We got to base event them out and get them out of our community. Get them out now. So, it's a quick video. I may try to do one later on today, uh, tomorrow. Do a video. Uh, I said something. Do one in the solar system. I might put that one in the shell. <laughs> but um, to the brothers and sisters who believe the earth is flat, man, I'm not even arguing about that no more. You're entitled to your belief. What I want to do is just when I have our people on code, I study our real history. That's what we got to do. That's the main thing, study our history. Because people are trying to steal and hijack. Remember, I think I said this in another video that the only pure race on this planet is black people. White people come from black people. They are, they are a mutated image of us. And then the very different mixture between black and white, you have all these other groups. So black people are the only original people on this planet. The only people who can be pure race are black people. Period. Period. I mean, it's not enough for discussion. That's why you hear this mess about white people building pyramids. That's insane. They will not last in the heat and the sun. That's a lie. That's insane. But unfortunately, they push this lie, and some niggas bleed them because it comes from so-called white daddy. All right? And mom, you got to let them people go, man. You really have to let them people go. They're not worth it. They're not worth your time, your space, and your energy. Let's continue to move on, move forward. Move forward. March on to the best far south. <laughs> now we got to move forward, brothers and sisters. Man. All right. Uh, with that damn Kennedy said, ask not what you can do for your country, but what, whatever he said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Whatever, something like that. <laughs> so, that's not what you can do for others but what you need to be doing for yourself <laughs> that's my quote <laughs> alright brothers and sisters peace and love